the First World War broke out in 1914 and ended in 1918, costing the life of millions of people. The First World War is well documented in art. The English artist Paul Nash painted war landscapes we can see here. The German artist Otto Dix was a soldier in the First World War and created many drawings and prints documenting the brutality of the war. Another German artist, Kethe Kollwitz, gave us strong pictures of grief and loss. We also have many paintings from the same period mainly from German artists who depict the aftermath of the war, portraying the veterans of war, young people deformed and disabled. The end of the First World War left Germany in financial ruin and social unrest. This period up to the Second World War is depicted in many drawings and paintings by three famous German artists, George Grotz, Max Beckmann and Otto Dix. Poverty and violence were widespread in Germany during the interwar years and eventually gave rise to the Nazi government and the Second World War. The artists depicted the reality of everyday life in interwar Germany, street fighting, rise of Nazi oppression, prostitution and poverty. George Gross painting The Pillars of Society says strong command on the inhumanity, decadence and hypocrisy of the society at the time. The Second World War was not widely documented in art, as photography and film covered most battles and experiences of the war. When the Second World War ended, Europe and the whole world started to rebuild their societies, which were shattered by the war. They wanted to create a fairer and more democratic world. The war was soon forgotten that the mood was optimistic. But the wounds of the war did not close completely. By the end of the 60s, new problems arose. Racism, inner city violence and alienation were the new evils of society. Andy Warhol is an American pop artist famous for his pictures of celebrities, but he also produced artworks with strong social comments. His painting, Race Riot, comments on racial exclusion and oppression in the USA. Another painting, titled Big Electrical Chair of the same time, is a comment on the violence of capital punishment. Another pop artist of the 60s, Roy Lichtenstein, produced a drawing of a gun after the assassination of President Kennedy. Guns were invented to protect and help in hunting, but are now killing millions. Therefore, the gun is pointing at the spectator, a statement against the gun culture in the USA. Most artworks which are highly critical of the aspects of modern society are by American artists of the 60s and the 70s. Edward Kinholz is an installation artist who became famous in the 1960s. Kinholz, before becoming an artist, worked in a variety of jobs, including as a psychiatric nurse. His installations are grim, sordid, depressing, and portray the underbelly of American society. The problems facing the poor, the old, and the people who are unable to care for themselves. Therefore, in his work we can see abandonment, oppression, institutional violence, racism, and the inhumanity of modern capitalist society. Another macabre comment on American society is the installation The Couch by Bruce Conner in 1963, a dead body decaying on a couch forgotten by everyone, a criticism on violence, murder, sexual pathology and alienation. In the same vein is the installation now lost The Death of a Hippie by Paul Tech. Shattered illusions, the Vietnam War, and the fast developing capitalist society turned a young man full of dreams into a dead drifter. 
Leon Golub is a figurative American painter of the 70s who created strong political pictures condemning the foreign policy of the USA, the Vietnam War, and racism. Francis Bacon is a famous English artist whose artworks portray many aspects of violence. His large oil paintings are representations of inhumanity, existential anxiety, psychological and sexual violence. Fear and revulsion and inner torment are also part of his work. By the end of the 70s, art has freed itself from most restrictions and censorship became non-existent. We now encounter many images representing violence and the macabre both in art and popular culture. Contemporary art touches on many aspects of violence, verbal violence, exclusion, pain inflicted through mental illness, sexual violence, age, deformity and violence we exert on our own bodies. The installation by Janine Antoni titled Gno is an example. A huge chocolate square is gnawed by the artist leaving marks of her teeth. The artwork hints at body image, oppression, mental illness and anxiety. In popular culture and the news we have an aesthetization of violence in order to shock the spectator but at the same time disengage him from what he sees. On the contrary, when we look at an artwork portraying aspects of violence, we engage with the subject. We can feel the suffering of the victim and see the motives of the perpetrator. We can sense the society and the problems behind the acts we see. We condemn violence and inhumanity.